Hey everyone, this is Mukesh once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, I will talk about how you can handle the auto suggestions or you can say auto complete in Selenium. Okay, so let me give you a clear idea of what exactly is auto complete or I will say auto suggestion. So the best example in this case is like our Google, right? So the moment you open google.com and whenever you type something, let's say you want to type Selenium, you are getting a list of uh, suggestions, right? So you can say this is auto complete or auto suggestion. So how we can handle this with Selenium, it's very easy. So we have two ways, okay, actually there are multiple, uh, multiple ways, like more than five ways, but I will talk about only two ways which we generally use. Okay, so first option is very straightforward. Let's say you want to search for Selenium WebDriver tutorial. So just go ahead and type, okay, just like using send keys, we will type and then you can simply hit enter or you can, uh, you know, click on submit. Second option, what other option we have just type selenium and whatever list of suggestions is getting you need to capture it and then you need to click on it let's say this fourth option okay so second way is like fetch all the uh, i will say suggestions then click on one suggestion first approach was just type whatever you are looking for and hit enter or click on this okay so you will see this kind of example multiple sites so if i talk about go ivbo Let's say you want to travel from Bangalore to Delhi or any location, just say from Delhi. You can see this is list of auto suggestions. One option you can just type directly Delhi and uh, hit enter. Or you can just do one um, you know, arrow down and select. Second is again, let's say you want to travel to Bangalore. So again, you type Bangalore. Okay. And press one arrow down and hit enter. And you can continue with the flow, right? So we'll see both the options and I will also see the challenges that you will face and how you can overcome through that challenges. Just to get started a very basic uh, like from the scratch and the easy example. I have created my own example where the moment you type S which is for Selenium you can see we are getting list of auto suggestions right. So I'm getting action script, Apple script, ASP, basic and so on. At last we are getting Selenium. So if I just want Selenium I can just continue Selenium hit enter or you can just search for S, capture all the auto suggestions and select from the options that we have. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me write a quick code. I already created one py file, which is Python file. Now let me start with web driver. So I will just type web driver uh, and I will say dot chrome. I am looking for chrome, but you can go with any br other browser. Now I need Chrome driver path, so I will use Chrome driver manager that we discussed earlier. So when I say Chrome driver manager dot install, it will download the Chrome driver. If it is not available in my system, set the path and we'll get our instance ready. Okay. Now I can simply continue with this driver. I will just go ahead and maximize the window. Then I will simply pass the application that I want to automate. So first example, we'll take this selenium practice.blogspot.com. Okay. Now in order to get this auto suggestion, at least we need to type one or two keyword, right? So I will just inspect this first of all. And uh, we got this, right? So if I just take this ID, which is tags. So ideally it should um, find that particular web element and I can simply do the type. On safer side, I will also use uh, implicitly wait in case this list is not coming uh, you know, immediately, it should wait for that particular period. And as we discussed earlier, this is the maximum time that we are setting. Within this period, if we get list, it will continue. So first, I need to, okay, I, first of all, I need to find element, okay. Then I will be using by class from Selenium and I will say find by id and we have already captured the id which is tags right now i will use send keys in order to send here i will just type se then i will get this list of auto suggestions now this is a small catch guys okay just type s only if you type se only one option you will get so just type s and you can see this list of auto suggestions just right click and just do the inspect can you see we got one list here Right now, the moment I click, this is going immediately, right? So let me show you a small hack here. Okay, so just to go to source tab and you can see one option called, okay, now you will get this option. 
okay just hold on let me start again it's not showing okay now it's showing right it says pause script execution so the shortcut which you can use is f8 here or control and one backward slash so i will do one thing just type s and now i will use f8 from my keyboard okay just a second i use function key as well so just type s again and pause okay so can you see it says paused in debugger now these options will not go so the moment you go back now try to inspect now we got this as ul so this ul is unordered list which covers everything now in order to get to a specific web element i'm going to expand this ul tag and then i will get this li right inside li if you see i have a div tag and within this div tag i have all this data right which is action script or whatever you want so let's say if you expand another one we got apple script and so on i'm looking for selenium so selenium is second last if i open this i got under dev tag so first i will find the ul then or maybe i can find the li directly right and then i can look forward for specific dev tag it's up to you so let me directly take this ul tag sorry li tag guys i will just type uh, double slash li then i'm looking for class and the class name is ui hyphen menu hyphen item now i will just search for dev tag so guys can you see we got all these uh, options right now let me first of all print these options and as we discussed earlier in order to work with multiple web elements we need to find elements if you are working with single element then find element so this time if you have seen we are getting 10 auto suggestions so I'm going to use find elements by we have used xpath here. So this is going to give me list of web elements. So let me store this into list. Okay, list elements. You can use any name guys. I'm just using list elements. Now in order to showcase this, first of all, I'm just using a for loop where I will simply just extract the text and I will print. Okay, so I will use some proper name here ELE it is element whatever element I will get I will just capture the text and I will print here okay so just a second and here we go so just type s only we'll get list of auto suggestions find them okay a trait one by one each each time it will return me one web element from one web element I'm just capturing the text and I'm printing it okay in case if you want to just print the number of elements we have I will say length and I will just pass this list of elements so it should give me the total suggestion I will say total suggestions are and I will just print the length here now let's run this guys and let's see the output So it is going to start our session, maximize the window, it is opening the URL, type S and you can see it has, um, you know, given us the auto suggestions. It is not selecting because we haven't written the code guys, but if you just notice here, we got all the suggestions. So it says total suggestions are 10 and it has given me all the elements. Now let me only click when I find selenium. So definitely now we need to write a condition. So instead of printing, what we will do, we'll write a small if condition and we'll say if ELE dot text equal to equal to uh, selenium. It means the suggestions that we got, if it contains selenium, then we need to click, right? Where we need to click? We need to click on a web elements. We'll say ELE dot click, that's all. And the moment we found, I want to break otherwise it will keep on uh, you know getting the next suggestion so if you see after selenium we also have scheme which we don't want so the moment I find I want to break it so if you also just want to print we'll say suggestions are okay let's print here ele.text 
okay and the moment we find I just want to print one more statement I will say record found and that's all so just run this once again okay let's wait it's very easy guys it is just you need to find the web element and you can continue and here you go it found selenium and it clicked now if you just see first of all it says suggestions suggestions are these which we already have seen the moment it is finding the record it is printing record found it is clicking it is breaking this current for loop that's the reason you're not getting the last option very easy right and second option that we have uh, you know seen uh, that you just need to type selenium and hit enter right now we haven't seen how to you know perform the keyboard activities so let's stick to the this approach now just to give you one more example let me show you one another complex application which we use in real time which i have already shown you the go ibibo right in go ibibo what i will do i will just type some let's say b only and i will get this list of auto suggestions so let's say i want to print all of this or maybe i will just say b a n and i want to print so first of all we need one x path so that we can just type here and uh, so if you see this is an input box and it contains type id role as well so let me take this class because this class makes sense it has a class called input search or we can use this placeholder as well because placeholder is very straightforward so let's use this placeholder so i'm looking for an input tag okay where placeholder equal to from and here we go we got one web element so let me do one thing let me store into a notepad and just to have the backup i'm creating one more python file i will say handle auto suggestions too and yeah so some steps will remain same i just want to just change this so maybe i can write it again the driver dot get and here i will pass this go ibibo url second i am setting implicit weight then i need to send something right so i will just say ba and we will just write the x path that we have written here since it's a x path i will just change it to by dot x path now this is the option right i need to write x path which should give me all the city names so let's see how to write the names again if you type ba uh, right click and the try the moment you try to inspect this list is going so now we are doing the same thing i will go to source okay and the moment i type b a in order to stop the execution i will use f8 so it will you know stop the script and you can say paused in debugger right now i can go ahead and inspect so just notice one thing guys that i am looking for okay these names okay so if you see this is coming under span tag right and again if you notice it is coming under li so all this li if you see same thing li1 li2 and so on this is coming under ul tag so i can do one thing i can search for li tag and if you just notice one small thing that all the auto suggestions the last part is changing right 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so but this part is fixed so if i try to write x path i can write x path that find a li tag where id contains till suggestion okay i will not go till the end only till here so just search for li where i will only find id so i will say contains id and only this part i'm looking for so you can see we got 10 li perfect now let's drill down on inside this and you can see we got span tag and we got this is again a span tag which is nothing but the code right so i'm looking for this span tag and if you just notice this span is under this div tag so can I directly come to this div tag? 
so I will search for give me another div which has a class called main text clear now you can see we got all this right now if I just search for a span tag I'm getting two things one is the name then the code right name code name code so let's write this X path and when you write this X path it will give you 20 options one is name second is the code so I will get the names I will write a condition if location equal to that particular keyword then click on it so in our case if I just write Bangalore okay or Bangaluru so you can see I'm getting options let's do one thing let's type B E N and we are using this X path and it should give me all the suggestions very easy so X path already we guys we discussed in detail in our previous sessions so in case if you are not you know comfortable with X path go ahead and watch we discuss in detail and let me just search B E okay maybe let's say N as well and rest everything is same and uh, for the time being what I will do I will just remove this okay so I'm just trying to find the list of web elements I'm just printing the suggestions or maybe we can just change your conditions okay so I will just print here suggestions and then the moment it is finding Bangalore I will click on it okay so again go to source press F8 or directly you can stop from here okay but the moment you are stopping from here that options are going so let me use the keyboard controls F8 and now let me just inspect it okay and you can see Bangalore so if I just say guys here earlier we had exact same match but this time we have the partial match okay so if you want to use this condition so either you can go with this Bangalore Bangalore comma space India let's do this and it will just say record found click on it and break it in the next example I will just give you what if you don't want to go complete Bangalore India what if you just want to give Bangalore then what will be our scenario so it will open browser just type BE it's still loading okay so guys if you notice the moment I say BE we're getting so many options but here Bangalore is not in the list so if you just come down here here you go we got all these suggestions right 26 suggestions but Bangalore is not available so let's just type BEN and this case let's run our code you got the point right it was coming but Bangalore was not in the option so it was not selecting now I have given BEN now if we get some record and you can see it selected if you come down here total suggestions were 20 and it selected Bangalore why it is not giving you suggestions because Bangalore was coming on the first case so that's the reason it has selected only the first option and it has you know not printed other options let's try with some other thing let's say I want to travel from Delhi or Bhopal so the moment I type BH I'm getting Bhavnagar Bhuj Bhopal so let me type BH and I will get same Bhopal India so let me just change it to Bhopal guys I'm using some random cities okay in in your case you can go with any other city and let me just show you in a debug mode but in debug mode that options will go away so let's see once again it's very very easy guys it is just once you understand the approaches you can go with any application 
can you see it has type bh then it got multiple options it selected only bhopal now if you go back here we got total 24 suggestion so first one was bhavnagar second was bhuj third was bhopal it selected bhopal and record form okay so let's say you don't want to provide india so you just want to give like if it contains bhopal then it should select in that case we just write if okay now we will just type bhopal and now we have to use in keyword if i say if bhopal is available in this text then click on it so again these three things so this is a kind of partial match i'm not looking for bhopal india i'm just looking if bhopal is present inside this text then say record found click on it and let's do the break let's run once again guys just same approach try with any maybe you can give a try with google because in google search bar yahoo search bar bing search bar process is same and here you go it selected the same it is selecting bhopal because we haven't changed the city it is just i'm showing a different approaches right i hope it is clear uh, so just kind of a you can say assignment which i am giving you right now you try to open google.com first of all okay write any keyword so in my case let's say i just want to type uh, my name mukesh otwani so just type mukesh otwani or any other keyword and for this assignment you need to click on the suggestion youtube okay and it should open the first uh, link okay which is my youtube channel just try the same approach which we discussed what you need to do you just need to change uh, first of all you need to type and just change this x path and just change this condition rest everything will remain same fine so that's all for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this approach so guys in case we are new to this channel then make sure you subscribe hit the like button share with your friends and in case if you find any issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye